I'm Pete Rancoli for Fuse TV, and I'm here at Adrenaline. I'm here with Mark the Machine Hominick. Mark, how you doing? Uh, very well, how about yourself? First of all, um, could you just tell us a little bit about Adrenaline in the training center and uh, how this came about? We opened this new location in January of this year. So we've been here uh, just under a year now. Uh, we've been in the city uh, for seven years. We're in the east end of the city. It's nice to move downtown. I really like the atmosphere we've created here. It's a family, um, family mixed martial arts gym. I run the kids' Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu program. It, it started really small, and then it got really, really popular really fast. We just go over the basics and fundamentals of Jiu-Jitsu, stuff they need you know, for self-defense and just to protect themselves in general. Something like Jiu-Jitsu, it, it's, it's not a punching or kicking kind of thing, so the kids can defend themselves without really having to hurt anybody. Grade 9 gym class uh, in 1998, went to a local martial arts studio, and then I signed up that night. When I met Sean Tompkins, my, uh, my coach, he, he really transformed uh, you know, my vision, what I want to do, how, how I wanted to accomplish my goals, and uh, he really led by example. So I think that's what a lot of, a lot of mentors uh, aren't doing now. You, know, you have to lead by example, and that's one thing he really did. Why is London such a great community for MMA? I think just the training facility that we started, I think it goes back to Sean Tompkins, Team Tompkins. He, he really gave us the fundamentals and, and you know, it's, it's, it's amazing to say that, you know, within one, one, one small community, we've produced so many great athletes and we continue to pass on the knowledge uh, to our students. Can you uh, right now just show us a little bit of grappling, just with me involved, right? Yeah, I can show you an arm block. Okay. I got it, I got it. He tapped out, he tapped out. At the end of the day, um, you, know, you could have all the greatest training in the world, but if, if, you're, if you're not the one that sacrifices it all, and knowing how hard you can push yourself, and knowing how far, how far you can take it in the ring, and the risk you're going to take, and, and the sacrifice you're going to make, it comes, it all boils down to how hard you're going to work. 